My name is Minister Paul, and I live in Northern California. I've been making YouTube videos since approximately 2011. In 2012, I began to receive warnings in advance of things to come. And I've spent five years showing <clears throat> the warning and then it coming to pass here. <clears throat> from Turkey to from from Turkey to Texas. And I'm just asking you to please, please listen to this video. That's all I'm asking. Those letters were sent out as a courtesy to remind all policyholders to render your flood insurance if you haven't done so already. Okay. That's all I so FEMA's because I went to the website and it's there's a homeland security website, right? Yes. We, should we expect a flood where I live in Northern California or? I'm not sure. Those, if you're referring because of the letter that you got. Yeah, well, I got two. Out. That's what I got two. Letters are sent out nationwide as a courtesy to all policyholders to remind you to renew your flood insurance. Yes, and I know that's the second mailing wave they've sent out. But a lot of people, if, they, if you let your lap, your flood insurance lap, you can lose your grandfathering rates or you can lose the rate you were at. Um, so they're just courtesy mailings. They, I mean, if your flood insurance is up to date, you can disregard them. Just throw it away? Yes, sir. Because the last one wanted signatures, and that's what kind of bothered me. It's, it seemed like that was a place for my wife and I to sign. I'm like, this is kind of odd. No, nothing that I... I mean, as long as you have your flood insurance policy and through your insurance company and you pay your premiums, that's all you have to worry about, unless there is a national disaster, which is a whole different process. A national disaster, which is a whole different process. Please let me explain. I don't have a lot of time today or I'd sit here for an hour. I don't. <clears throat> Everything happens for a reason. This video was made on March 4th, 2013, and I was talking about the Brigger Waters Flood Insurance Reform Act and the National Flood Insurance Program, NFIP. Since then, I completely understand the whole program. They continued to send me red letters and blue letters, and um, <clears throat> we are still insured, and we still get letters and uh, all of that stuff. I understand the process of that call now, but I believe it happened for a reason that we are seeing with Hurricane Harvey. If you go back and listen to that conversation, that was me calling NFIP, who claimed to be with FEMA, as I understand it. I'll put a link to this video. It has over a million views. What happened this year was was that the the Oroville Dam spillway broke and, and it's always a conspiracy or something suspicious when these things happened. They've had meetings ever since and now fall is approaching and it's not repaired yet. We were under mandatory evacuation right here where I sit thinking that the whole dam was about ready to burst. We were given 30 minutes and chaos broke out and they're still working on that dam. Meanwhile, on August 24th of this year, five years later, I'm sharing this, I'm, I'm sharing this dream I had as a prophetic warning in advance from I believe it was 2014, you can vet all this, about I, I saw a lightning bolt hitting Houston and I put my, I put the mouse cursor right on it and then it ran up out of Texas all the way up into California where I live and turned into a sword. I'm going to show the path. The warning in advance, if, if you believe in these things or not, it's going to happen 100% is that every area in the path of this, Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, I believe it went through Nevada, I'll have to see, into California, is in danger of the sword. I'm going to show you the path. Again, this was from 2014. To a sword. It was over a map of the United States. 
I'm sharing this vision about the lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. So it started off as a lightning bolt and it turned into a sword. It was over a map of the United States and it began right here on the, the south uh, east side of Texas and this lightning bolt cracked and thundered and it started heading towards California. It went through New Mexico and Arizona and Nevada and through San Francisco and Sacramento. Let me show That's the warning from 2014. Then Hurricane Harvey hit. And now the president and the vice president are all visiting these areas. And it's been um, the biggest natural disaster declared ever while we still sit under this dam. And then <clears throat> this morning, the warning I got, which I haven't shared this with anybody yet, was you are in danger. It's in a note in a video I made. I don't know if anybody noticed today. So you want to talk about before the warning and then after the warning proof and evidence what I'm talking about <clears throat> just this morning in a video <clears throat> I put this was just made an hour ago I put beware September the sword is coming weather wars and I mentioned a few other things the lightning bolt and the sword down here right just five minutes ago on Drudge, this article jumped out at me right here in the middle. Texas open carry sword law takes effect. So, 2000. I'm just gonna have to end this video. Power grid officials ask Cal, as public to cut use in California. I'm just gonna explain this real fast as I have to be somewhere. Listen, it was a lightning bolt. I was shown in advance that hit right at Houston. See the line? It goes right through Houston. And it turned into a sword. And then this morning, I, I make a video, again, using the prophetic warning in advance gift, and I talk about now the sword. And then I see this article on Drudge right here, date and time, 9-1-9-0-4 a.m., California. And it says... In, on guard, it says on guard, today's date, well this is dated August 30th, this is the first time I've seen it, updated, probably why, updated September 1st, today, right now, on guard, Texas open carry sword law takes effect today, right now, today. In other words, the sword warning after the lightning bolt warning came to pass, the sword warning, sword warning was instantly confirmed in one hour. Here's some stories on it. It's basically saying that in Texas, as of today, Friday, September 1st, 2017, it is now legal to carry swords. Swords. The only thing I can tell you is that the warning I got is the sword is a, a mighty, I'm going to say it like this, a mighty, powerful, violent sword is about to hit the land because of rebellion against God. And he has chosen certain people to warn others. Some will take heed, others won't. I am going to take heed and make changes in my life. Because I know this is coming to pass quicker and quicker. And I saw Harvey, and I'm sitting right on the coast here under a dam. And the one thing the Holy Spirit gave me to comfort is he said, do not panic. So he showed me I'm in danger before the danger hits and tells me do not panic. I serve a good God. Total chaos is about ready to break out upon the land and there's only one way out of it and it's through Jesus Christ that's the only way and we are about out of time